My name is Robert Whitaker, the tactical supervisor for El Paso SRT for Homeland Security Investigations. Well, we have our, our big vehicle out here, it's an armor vehicle. Uh, it's an AMRAP vehicle. It's mine resistant, ambush protected, that's what it stands for. That's what we use to deliver our, our, um, our team to uh, high risk warrant services. This is the only entry in the vehicle here, so all the operators, we've, uh, we've modified our particular vehicle to have the skids on the sides so that we can uh, have operators on the side and just get off the vehicle uh, from, the, from the sides. Makes for a very fast deployment, that's what we try to do. Um, if there's an issue while we're out serving a warrant service or something like that, we can shelter in place with this and then go into the surrounding call-out operations uh, inside of here. We can generally get about 10 or 11 operators in here. Very tight, but we can do it. So we get them in there. Um, we have the same, same on this side, we have a skid on this side as well. We can put uh, four, four or five operators on here with the shield and they deploy off this side. Uh, the team commander, which is myself, I'll stand in the MRAP and uh, provide overwatch for the team while they're making entry into the house. Like I said, it's got a Cummings diesel engine in it. It's turbocharged. It, uh, it'll move this vehicle about 70 miles an hour. Uh, we don't like to drive it that fast, obviously. 15 tons is hard to stop. So we usually run it about 55 on the freeway, going back and forth. We usually drive back and forth a lot between El Paso and here. So, um, and it provides part of, it's kind of slow taking off, but actually when you get going, it feels like you're driving a car. These wheels weigh about 700 pounds a piece. They're run flat tires, which means even if they get penetrated by a, a round, they won't go flat. They, they will de uh, they will come down a little bit, but they have like a solid core inside of them, uh, so that you can still drive on them when they're, when they're when they, they get deflated. This glass right here is multiple layers of uh, of glass. It's about I would say about that thick. It's got multiple layers in there, and it will stop uh, up to a 50 caliber round. The window will. So it uh, provides very good protection for us. We have gun ports in here, so we can actually we can actually shoot from within the vehicle. Um, you may think it's pretty loud, but actually it's not too bad. Uh, but we do have gun ports there and in the back and there are two, two, two on the side as well. Our team is stationed in El Paso, that's where we're from. We have a team right now, about 17 certified members and a couple green team guys that are trying to get on the team. And we cover the entire New Mexico state and West Texas, all the way out from El Paso to Midland. And that's our, our, our area of operations. Now we are a national team, so we can be called to go anywhere in the United States and assist other teams with uh, whatever they have pending.